why you never, ever use dustless blasting on your restoration project. Now, we've got a 1968 Dodge Charger in the shop. This car had been dustless blasted, and it's scheduled to us so that we can do some pretty in-depth rust repair. But first, we're going to do some rough cuts, get the majority of the uh, body panels off. Well, let's show you what we found. Now, when you do dustless blasting, you were supposed to use a rust inhibitor. A lot of guys don't. A lot of guys tell you it's extra. Well, whether you do or you don't, this is the result. You pack sand, wet sand, into every nook and crevice in the car. Now, the outside, well, yeah, that's not so uh, bad. You can uh, wash that off, but it's the inside. As you can see, man, what a mess. Now, if you didn't know to look in these crevices or inside of the panels, or you weren't removing the panels, this is what you'd have. Yeah, that's a lot of not pretty. Yeah, that's just sandwiching wet media in between body panels. Yeah, that's going to cause big time problems. Yeah, it's just caked in there. All the way to the very seam. And you can see the discoloration there. That's where uh, it had been wet and just sat there until it dried out. And we're just going to go around this car and just kind of show you. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same thing everywhere. Wow. And the question is, how would you get this out if the panels weren't disassembled? Yeah, that, that's my question uh, to any of these guys doing dustless blasting. How are you going to remove this? I mean, look at that. Wow. And the window assemblies, the regulators, all of the tracks, they are super trashed out. And it even affects the bolts. We broke a couple of uh, the bolts holding the window tracks in because they had started to rust from the backside. Yeah, you can see the inside the track there. And, I mean, you can take it off with a brush, brush it off, but you can see how well it's adhered to the metal. Now, that's all wet. That was all wet sand at some time, or wet media. Yeah, you can definitely tell the discoloration where it had been sitting and just dried out. Man, I would not be happy. Now, I have no idea what this vehicle looked like beforehand. It could have had rust in these areas. But, this definitely did not help. And let's move over to the driver's side and see what we have.
yeah, the driver's side actually has quite a bit more media packed into the bottom between the uh, quarter panel and the body. I'll show you that shot in a second. And you can see you can see how it's packed around that screw head or bolt head. Yeah, that one might be difficult to remove without breaking. Yeah, it's a lot of ugly. Yeah, these are all going to have to be disassembled and uh, cleaned up. Maybe even media blasted again with dry, not wet media. Rollers are going to be replaced. Yeah, this this really adds to the uh, really adds to the cost. You can see the uh, rust on the bolt head. That's probably the one that broke, and that's the reason it broke. Down inside the track there, it's just caked up. Wow. Yeah, so once the uh, rough cut and all of the metal is uh, removed that we're going to remove, this thing has got to go back to a uh, media stripper so we can take care of all of this rust because that would be a nightmare to uh, work on this car and not know it had been uh, dustless blasted, restore it, and uh, yeah, a few years later. All of this start to come through again. That's a nightmare. Yeah, just look how look how it's packed in there. And I've never been a fan of Dustless Splash. And I just wanted to make this video, take time to show you guys, you know, what you're going to get. I wish it worked better. Hey, as always, thanks for watching.